friends, welcome to my channel where in this video I'm going to do the second video for the amazing Soup Timber collaboration. This has been great. Be sure and look below for all the channels that have made the amazing recipes for soup that they've made and it'll be posted their name and the day that they should have or should will be uploading their recipe. So I'm going to start out by making a sausage. It's a sausage and vegetable soup. Similar but still different than the one that I did. It's kind of a combination of a couple different recipes that I like. But this one, I'm going to start out with, here's what I have. i got to take this off the heat while I tell you. I've got a package of the hot Italian sausages. These are amazing. I'm going to cut those up and I'm going to uh, brown them in a tablespoon of oil. I've got some Worcestershire sauce, pepper, cayenne pepper, um, beef broth, red potatoes cut up, about a pound and a half, cut up in uh, nice sized chunks because I like chunks in my soup. And then a nice blend of two large onions, three medium carrots, and a bell pepper, all chopped and ready to go. This is a super simple recipe. Oh, and also, of course, I have a 28 ounce can of peeled tomatoes. And when I put these in, I'm gonna kind of break them up so they're a little bit um, smaller. They're not just big chunks of tomatoes. But I'm gonna start by slicing these peppers up into nice pieces, and then I'm gonna brown them in the oil. So as soon as I get these cut, I will come back to you. Okay, I've got my oil in my pot. And then I'm gonna take my sausage. Now you can use all different kind of sausages. I just like this because I like a little zippy of the, the hot sausage. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brown this. When it's all done, I'm gonna take it out and let it drain on a plate with a paper towel. That's what I have right here ready to go. And then I'm gonna add the vegetables. I might have to add a little bit of extra oil. It depends on how this sausage works out. And I'm gonna brown all the vegetables. And then once they're brown, I'll put the sausage back in. And then I'm going to add the potatoes, the broth, and the tomatoes, and all of the seasoning. And then I'm just going to let it cook until it's everything's nice and tender. So I'm going to go ahead and keep browning this. And I think what's going to go delicious with this is uh, maybe a cornbread. Cornbread muffins, maybe a cheesy cornbread. That's what I'll make to go with it. And it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to come back to you as soon as all this is nicely browned. Okay, so I browned and removed the sausage, and now I'm going to put the onions in. There's enough grease in the bottom, I think. Um, and I'm going to kind of start browning these things. Get that in first. Go ahead and get all the rest of the vegetables in there. Then I'm just going to stir them around. I'm going to turn the heat down. And, whoops, I have to get these two guys. There we are. Smells good already. All right. Now, I'm going to let these vegetables saute down. And while they're sauteing down, they'll kind of deglaze that uh, bottom of the pot there from the... Um, from the sausage, which will make it taste even better. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to cook these down until they're, you know, they're nicely cooked down, sauteed down, and then I will be back to you. Okay, this is about half done. Now I'm gonna take about um, two garlic cloves, or one uh, teaspoon of the already minced garlic that you can buy, and I'm gonna add some garlic in there. And then the whole point is once I get this down a little bit more, I'll put everything back in and let it just simmer for about 30 minutes and it's going to be so good. So I'm going to let this saute a little bit more and then I'll come back to you. All right, that's as far as I want it to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in the potatoes just because I like to kind of stir them around in this vegetable and get that flavor on them. I don't know why. It's just my thing. I put all the vegetables in at once. And then I will add all the liquid. So that's all mixed up nice. And I'm going to put the sausage back in now. 
And yes, people always ask me. I'm. <laughs> they always worry that I'm going to run out of room in this pot. I never have. Just now watch because I said it I will. But I don't think so. All right. Now I'm going to put in the tomato. And I'm going to chop those tomatoes up here in the pot. You can get, you know, the chopped up ones or whatever. I just like to be able to break them up and have nice big chunks in there. Oh, I have to clean that up. Woo, that was a juicy tomato. All right. There's one. I'm just going to cut them up with my spoon or my, my little tool here. All right. Get that all mixed in nice. Oh, there's a tomato. I want to cut those in. I like to big old chunks of tomato. Funny, because I hate raw tomatoes, but I like cooked tomatoes. Okay. All right, so that's in there. Now, I'm going to put 32 ounces of beef broth. Mix that in. And I use the Better Than Bullion. You can get the beef broth in a, uh, you know, a package of beef broth if you want. And now, I think I'm going to turn the heat up. That looked pretty. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Not sure if I say it right. People say it all different ways. You could put a little liquid smoke in here if you want. I don't like it, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I'm going to mix all that in and I'm going to let it cook for about 30 minutes. And then all the potatoes and the carrots and everything will get soft and all the flavors will blend and it's going to be awesome. And this is going to be super good. I think I'm going to make some cornbread muffins to go with it. All right, so there it is. I'm going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes and I'll bring you back when it's done. Ooh, I just want to show you this simmering, and it smells so good. Look at all the vegetables in there. Big chunks of sausage. This is going to be so good. Okay, friends, there it is, all dished up in the bowl. It smells so good, and the broth is so flavorful. So you could do a couple things here. You could put a little dollop of sour cream on there, but I've got that cheesy cornbread muffin, so I'm going to sprinkle a little shredded cheddar on top of it and make it just that extra special of yummy so anyway like i said you guys be sure and check out the links below for all of the other amazing channels that participated in the soup timber all the fabulous recipes and if you try this and you like it let me know what you thought and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video